Is the hat gone now that he's got the serpent's jacket? It's funny. I've been asked that a lot. I don't think so. Um, yeah, I don't know. If it, I, it's still very much his identity. I don't know. I've talked to Roberto a little bit about it. What donning the jacket means in sort of as a replacement for the hat, but it's still a very iconic piece of Jughead. So I don't think it'll be gone completely. We got to see Hot Dog at the end of the season too. Finally. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that was a that was a challenge. Was the dog weird? That was probably the single greatest creative issue that Roberto and I ever butt heads about. <laughs> um, originally, Hot Dog. Roberto has said it best already in an interview, but I, uh, he knows I'm a purist when it comes to um, certain aspects of the show, and Hot Dog's breed was originally like a pit bull junkyard dog mix, and there was no sheep dog that was willing to act in the Vancouver area, so we couldn't get the dog originally, but the scene ended up getting pushed a week and we found a sheepdog in the meantime, and so now he's that canon breed. What are you hoping to see explored in season two? I mean, obviously, we've got to meet your family, I'm hoping. He looks happy for one. Yeah, he looks great. But that's the nature of gang recruitment, you know? Gangs, uh, gang recruitment makes a lot of sense to, like, a broken social structure. I mean, the snakes came in right at the perfect time, so that's, like, intro to gang recruitment. I'm also thinking about the new high school he's at, and that those weren't gang kids, those are just kids in flannel. A lot of those kids are gang kids, actually. Um, <laughs> just a lot of those kids are kids in flannels. Um, yeah, it's, I think he feels like he fits a lot better there, and that's something that is going to be a dilemma he's going to be dealing with a lot in season two. Season two places him with one foot on each side of Riverdale, which is the north and the south, and he's the character right in between the two, so he serves as kind of the middleman, and we'll see where that really places him.